Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, trading, jailbreak trading. It is coming very, very soon. Let's actually ch check real quick, because <laughs> I actually haven't checked in a while. Uh, yeah, very excited. Now, this video is going to be me going over uh, some extra details about trading, about the trading cards and how transactions are going to work. So, Basically, for a trade to go through, is that both sides need to add something. So, say you win a giveaway, right? You win, I don't know, a McLaren giveaway. Uh, you get a, you get a free Megalodon. In the trade, you can add anything, literally anything, to basically continue the trade. Now, you can easily just do this with colors in the garage, like trade a sign color. Let's actually bring it up real quick. Uh, colors, where are they? Body color. <laughs> so yeah, uh, say you're um, trying to sign color. I think this costs like a thousand. It has it on my value list. But yeah, uh, you can just try to color to the other person. And yeah, that's basically how you can accept a giveaway, which I find is really, really cool. And another thing is when you give an item, it's it has the original owner on it when it has the original owner on it that means it's basically tagged so say i traded this mclaren for something it would have my username on it on the trading card so whoever has it has the original owner sarsen 64 so this means that you basically tag an item or like sign the item off uh to give people which is really really cool because like say you're trading with a youtuber right it doesn't matter really what item they give you the item is tagged by them so it kind of makes you look cool i guess like i don't know say you uh, get a get an item from finder uh finder's pretty popular very popular now uh yeah you get a tagged item by him which is really really cool because it's kind of hard to get an item from a youtuber so Hey, if that happens to you, then you're pretty lucky, I guess. <laughs> That's also a pretty cool thing with the um, trading. Now, I want to move on to apartments now. Uh, apartments are pretty interesting, I think. I'll just quickly buy one right now. Uh, yeah, um, I think they should probably update this. I think they are, but the apartment items don't have names, which is pretty stupid because i had to get the names of the furniture items from the jerek wiki to actually put on the value list oh, i actually have stuff in here okay uh yeah customize inventory uh if you guys want to offer for this stuff feel free to this is all my apartment stuff i will be getting the throne here and yeah that's the only other apartment item actually uh yeah we don't know if guns, gun skins are actually going to be tradable yet. I don't even have a gun on me. But yeah, um, I think gun skins are going to be tradable, so I might add them to the value list. Now, the thing with... Oh my god, okay. I'm, let's just delete these, because they're annoying. Yeah, they don't, they don't have names on them. And apartment items really change a lot. Now, why am I talking about apartment items? Well, you can also trade them. You can actually... This, these are the, some of the only items that you can actually buy multiple of. You have two of these wardrobes. I can't see because of the dark. Yeah, those look like wardrobes. You can place down two of these. These are the only stackable items in the game right now. But after, tr but when trading comes, uh, you can stack anything. And this also leads to another question. How many of an item can you stack? Can you stack up to 5, 10, 20, maybe even 100? <laughs> Yeah, we don't know how many items are going to be stackable yet, so that's also something to to um think about. By the way, the maximum amount of items that you can trade is eight. So you only can trade eight items, which is still a lot though. But yeah, just something to keep track of. Now these are the good good thing about these is that they're duplicated, so you can just and also people don't use apartments like at all. Like the fans, they're pretty useless. Uh, the paintings, they're pretty useless. You could just buy more of them. You can just trade these to other people with the giveaways, or like if they if they give me like free items or something, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Now, what else was I gonna talk about? 
Uh, hmm. Oh, yeah. Key notes here. First week when trading is here, what you want to do is trade in the first week. Like, have all of your have all of your deals ready and actually just full on trade all the things that you know is a win. If you want to see what um a win is, just follow the values on my thanks train. You can follow the values on my value list if you would like. Uh a friend of mine is actually setting up a list. So a Discord server for the list. So if you guys would like to check that out, um I'll be linking that in the description along with the value list and my Discord. But yeah, uh, yeah. If you wanna get some quick trades in before trading, because it's in like under two days now, then yeah, feel free. Because the first week of trading, not many people know value, so you could probably get a few sharky trades in there. If you don't know what a shark is, basically shark trades are basically where you uh, get much more than what uh, you're expecting to get, because no one really knows values. You only really know values if you see my list, because uh, yeah, a lot of people have actually liked the list so far, and it's very, very accurate, to be honest. Now, I want to answer a question that I'm probably going to get. Dat Brian made a video uh, talking about the rarest items. I have um, brick set rims and spoiler at 7 million each. Now, the reason why I have them at 7 million each is because people are going to be trading the brick set, like both of the items. So that adds up to 14 million. I know you can't trade cash, but it's a rough value of the item uh it's very very rare uh he explains more about the item better in his video if you want to check him out uh yeah <laughs> pretty cool because he said it's it might be rarer than fidget it's not rarer than fidget but it's definitely up there uh, i think snowflake rims might be the second rarest item and then next maybe brick set or hypno rims it's always the rims for some reason by the way, the rims, the old rims, the limiteds, uh, look really good. Oh, oh, I'm not even in rims. I'm in rim color. Spinner, Snowflake, Hypno, Brick Set, and then you've got Star Badge and Spider Leg. These all look really, really good, and they're some of the oldest items in the game, which is really, really cool, because Hypno, Snowflake, and Spinner, and Brick Set actually are going to have really high demand and value. Yeah, so... I honestly find that really, really cool. I say really a lot, I know. But yeah, um, hope this, I hope this video actually helped you guys. Uh, yeah. Um, after I get my items from trading, I will post a video of all the items I have. And then you guys can offer for me if you would like. And potentially even get some items signed by me if you really want that. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to mention one more thing. Uh, thank you guys so much for the recent support. Um, recently, it has really motivated me to make better quality videos for you guys and to thrive to make better videos. Hopefully, I can edit my videos soon or maybe in the future. But yeah, sorry that I can't edit. I'm really, really bad. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for the support. I really appreciate it. And you guys are great. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video if you're interested. Take care, guys.